and welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be talking to you about the sport of and I sport I use the term incredibly loosely here the sport of competitive bodybuilding and the IFBB the International Federation of Bodybuilding that international organization that is in charge of all things bodybuilding and all things in the line of bodybuilding competitions which is by far the biggest organization of its kind worldwide that organizes the Mr. Olympia competition. And why am I bringing this into my normal running and fitness and triathlon type of channel? Bear with me and it will all become immensely clear. As you know, the world of competitive bodybuilding is rife with people that suffer, suffer from a myriad of body image disorders. And the preparing for a bodybuilding competition usually involves the ingesting of vast quantities of anabolic steroids during the build phase and then dry cut dieting which is in fact nothing more than a fasting down of that both starves you and dehydrates you to get down to a super low body fat percentage in time for competition. So that's what the bodybuilders do in order to be able to prepare for the different bodybuilding shows, bodybuilding competitions. So if these guys want to do it as Consenting adults, I've got no real issue with that whatsoever. The fact that it uh, creates a precedent and 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 something that the rest of us feel that we're needing to try and aspire towards, which is an aspiring towards something that is physically impossible to maintain for the long term and stay healthy is completely beside the point. The one factor that, before I get down to the main factor, and as far as the steroid co situation within bodybuilding, just have a quick look at this insert that I've put together, and that explains the, my view as far as how rampant the use of steroids is within bodybuilding. Have a look quickly. All of you who say that the industry slash sport of bodybuilding competitions are free of steroid use or abuse, just look at the telltale signs. It's the combination of excessive trapezoid, that, that's the muscles between the neck and the shoulder, so excessive trapezoid development, overly square angular jaw lines, and a constantly red or flushed face and neck from the high blood pressure. Add to that the unhealthy starvation diets and dehydration program needed for competition. That's called dry cutting. And you have a recipe for long-term health problems as well as eating disorders. Right, so that's the steroid side of things. I've explained the dieting side of things, which is by no means a healthy way of being able to maintain physical fitness long term. What is even more alarming is the advent of a children's world championship bodybuilding and fitness competition. Children as young as five years old. This is the cycle of body image disorder and eating disorder lifestyles being instilled in children as young as five in this so-called sport that has zero health benefit and zero athletic benefit for young children. If not already there, it's simply a matter of time before these young children get pumped full of anabolics as well as synthol in addition to the dry cut starvation diet abuse that they're already having to face. Now what we also know about the bodybuilding industry is that the bodybuilding industry is rife with sexual exploitation. Many of the um, many of your bodybuilders, in order to be able to make enough money to be able to afford 
the steroid and supplementation often need to resort to the um, let's call it the, the adult film industry to be able to generate enough money to be able to afford all of these myriad of different products. Now having a children's bodybuilding competition where you've got parents that are willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that their child is able to win the competition is where I believe we need to draw the line. We know that steroids are rife within bodybuilding and in order to be able to make the gains, to be able to win a competition, requires supplementation of the vitamin S variety. And seeing that these children's bodybuilding competitions start off with age Five. You can be sure that a, a fair number of these children down as young as age five are already being put not only on steroids by their parents, but also the, they are being dieted down to completely unhealthy levels of body fat percentage. And what that does is number one, it screws up the child psychologically, promotes an eating disorder from the age of five, and number three, it is a prime hunting ground for sexual predators to be able to prey on young, impressionable children. We already know that Hollywood is rife with sexual exploitation of children, so there's no stretch of the imagination whatsoever to indicate that the child bodybuilding scene will not be rife with sexual predators either. So that's my take on the matter. Post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. Don't forget to share this out amongst your friends. And please do share this out wide so that the awareness of what's happening as far as the young children in bodybuilding can be made, be made aware of and we can get this put a stop to. I'm all for children having healthy forms of exercise but this really needs to be curtailed. So share it out wide and also remember to give it a thumbs up, share it out Post any comments, questions, criticisms down below. And last but by no means least, until we meet again for more fitness and health related content, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Coach Ever. Dot net.